Hello everyone! In the continuation of the previous video, we're going to the five next terms of the Super Mario, such as by all means, happen, and so on. So stay with us. As we mentioned in the previous video, the Super Mario Bros, which two brothers are going to start their own business, and in this way they enter a strange world. If you have seen the movie, it's better, but if you haven't, it doesn't matter. We all would want to learn how to use these terms in different movies. Now, here Mario is going to save his brother Luigi with the princess, and they are going to the prison's lounge because they think Bowser is attacking them. But we saw what the intention is. If you don't know the meaning of intention, you can check this part of the video. The people of the Mushroom Kingdom are very happy that Princess is going to stop him. And Princess says, Counting on us. No pressure. <laughs> they count on us. Which means to be sure that you can depend on someone. We had this example in Missing Blink animation. Where Sir Lionel is trying to show Mr. Link to the whole world. But his boss doesn't want him to succeed. So he sends someone to stop him. When he pulls a gun, Lionel tells him, don't count on it. Gotta get myself a grip here. That's better. Regretfully, Sir Lionel. Turns out the job I've been hired to do ain't no fool's errand after all. No. I've been paid a pretty sum to stop you and this creature from ever reaching civilized society. Quite a catch. I get to bag two legends in one day. Oh, I wouldn't count on it. The next example is the Hateful Eight movie, where a lot of things happen and the summary of that is the Samuel Jackson became suspicious to Bob about the events that happened. And he said, you did this and you were sure you would succeed. But you didn't count on the storm coming out and us coming here. But you didn't count on the blizzard and you didn't count on the two of us. Hmm. For their purpose, Princess and Mario want to go to Donkey Kong, the famous monkey of the game as you can see in the movie. They want to stop the enemy with the help of the army, and they go to the gate and tell the guard that they want to see the king. He wants to take them on a motorcycle and says, Hop in. He said, hop in. When you want to say someone to get on a car or motorcycle, we use this term, hop in. For example, let's go to the movie 1917, where a commander says to a soldier, after consoling him because of what happened to him, now hop in, let's go for another mission. I'm sorry about your friend. May I tell you something that you probably already know? It doesn't do to dwell on it. No, sir. Hop on. The next example is Inside Out, where Joey falls into the cemetery of forgetness with Bing Bong and wants to run away with the court. Joey says, Hop in and let's go. forget to ring the bell so you will be the first to know about the next and the last video of the Super Mario Bros. Well, here they've arrived at King's and welcome to them. Come 
coming. By all means, means of course, certainly. In the main kill series, where Ellie and Tyler are in the car, and Ryder's husband is ejected again, and he doesn't want his wife to notice it. They're looking for an excuse. Come back. You want to drive for a bit? Hmm? Sorry. I'm just nervous about the script, you know? Do you guys mind if we pull off so I can call Lamar? Will that stop you from playing the steering wheel like a bongo drum? Almost definitely. Then by all means. Okay, great. Here we go. In the Grand Budapest Hotel, when the Zeno wants to say someone's story of the hotel, he orders dinner at a table and says there is enough time to tell you the story. That person says, by all means, means of course. He orders wine first which you can see being brought to him. Prejuve 52, plus a split of the brute. That should provide us ample time. If I commence promptly, by all means. The king made a condition of fighting for giving the army, and Mario defeated the Donkey Kong. And Mario is talking to Princess. Donkey Kong says to Mario, You just don't know when to quit! Huh. Well, never thought of that as a good thing. It's a great thing. Thanks. I... I let him win, just for the record. Really, though? Why would you do that? You want to know why? It's mind your own business, that's why! All right, giant monkey. Enough! Get inside! Mind your business. I failed. But you mind your business. Do not interfere. In Green Book, Tommy has financial problems because he doesn't have a job. That's why he is selling his watch. The seller says, what's the problem? Tony replies, mind your business. Here's 50. Yeah, pay me 60 by New Year's, we get it back. Hey, Lip. Everything okay? Well, you got big trouble, Charlie? Mind your business. In Manchester by the sea, Casey Affleck is fishing with his nephew. He got a fish in their nets. His royal was coming. Casey tells him to mind his business. Yo, you got a strike, man. Don't hit me. Catch your fish. I swear you got a strike. He's up on it. I got it. We got to Drive the boat. Mind your business. You got to get the hook in him. Fine. Shut up. Mind your business. Great wife. We got to be. The monkey's commander is planning to attack, and Princess says, We've located Bowser's ship. He's gonna arrive at the Mushroom Kingdom by sundown. Lucky for you guys, I got a shortcut. We beat him there and ambush him. Yeah, I know. That's why we're gonna need carts. Let's beat Bowser. In this video, we explained one of the meanings of beat. But we promise we will explain the other meanings for you. Beat here means to defeat someone in a game or other situations. Let's go to Brooklyn 99 sitcom. And the police are racing. Rose tells Jake that you're flirting with Amy. Jake says, no, it's not true. Rose says, okay, then beat her. I'm giving you a chance to call off the bet because it's clear you don't actually want Katie's number because you're still into Amy. What? That's crazy. I just spent the whole day fighting for another girl's number. <laughs> I spent the whole day flirting with Amy. Yeah, we're joking around because we're friends now that I've moved on. Then prove it. Beat Amy and don't flirt with her at all. Fine. Easy. In the next sequence, Amy says to Jake, which dance do you think I should do after I beat you? Hey, Jake, question for you. When I beat you, which victory dance should I do? This one? Or this one? Oh, wow. The next example is the popular Finding Nemo animation. When the father and son are racing, the father is failing, so he says, My son beats me. 
Time for school! Time for school! Get up! Let's go! Let's go! I'm gonna win! No, you're not! I did it! Oh, my own son beats me! I'm a boy! Okay, wait for a third video. Don't forget to ring the bell. So that the next video comes, you will be the first to know that. Until the next video.